Hey, welcome back to the Academic Society. Today, I'm just gonna be walking you through all the decisions that I make when I start to plan for a new semester. And so I'm gonna talk about a course that I'll be teaching that I taught before, but I wanna make some changes to it. So I'm gonna talk about how I go about making decisions on how to change the course that I'm teaching. So if you're teaching a new course or maybe you wanna update a course you've already taught, this may be a good video for you. So if you're interested, continue watching. I'm Toyin, the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and my dream job as a lecturer at a university. And I also create time management and productivity videos as well as share my academic lifestyle. So last spring, so spring of 2019, I taught applied linear algebra for the first time. And it went fine. The students enjoyed the course, but I was only so-so on how it went, um, so I'll tell you the details about it. So the first thing that I like to do when I start to plan a new semester is reflect on how the course went last time, or if you've never taught the course, think about what you want it to feel like. So last time I taught linear algebra, um, it's applied, so if you're a mathematician, it's not proof-based, so the math majors don't really take this course. It's more for like physics majors, computer science, um, biology, chemistry, math education, um, so it's not a proof-based course. But anyway, I taught on Tuesday and Thursday, 75-minute classes, um, and so what I would do is more of like a punctuated lecture for about 40 minutes where I would lecture, maybe ask them to work some problems throughout, have them answer, me, answer questions I asked throughout the lecture, and then, and they'll take notes. And then in the last 20 or 30 minutes of class, I'll have the students work on some practice problems in groups, talk to each other, ask me questions, maybe have some of them present on the board if there's time. Um, and then um, on, before Tuesday's class, the students would have a reading assignment to do. And then um, on Thursday's class, they would have a quiz. So we would have a small quiz every single week. And the class went fine. The students learned. Um, it was okay, but there was just some things about um, the day-to-day -day of the class that I wasn't a big fan of. So things that I was not a big fan of was that after my lecture, I would give, I would have the same structure of class every day. Lecture, then practice some problems. I noticed my students rushing through the problems just so they could leave early, or um, some students not even working at all, just sitting there. Um, I would stop by and ask, oh, are you not going to work? It's like, I'm just thinking. Um, and I don't know. Maybe they were thinking, maybe they weren't. Um, but yeah, mostly just rushing through the problems and not spending time thinking about them was... Uh, not great. Also, um, the conceptual problems in that class. Every time we would ask conceptual pro problems on the test, they would miss those. Um, they would able they would be able to do the computations, which are very not very difficult in that class. But knowing what was actually happening, I felt the students did not really understand most of the concepts until maybe the very end of the semester. And then finally, I think my students needed more practice just working problems. Um, so I had handwritten homework for them and I had a grader grade them, but the handwritten homework just was awful. Uh, many students would not turn in the assignments. They would take zeros. I was very concerned about the lack of motivation in that class. Many students would take zeros. Um, they would turn in incorrect work. They wouldn't ask me questions about it. They would just turn in something that wasn't good and they were okay with that. So those are the big issues that I have with the class and I wanted to figure out how to fix it. So after the reflection and after thinking about what issues I wanted to change, then I did a little research. So I googled what's the best way to teach linear algebra and I saw some articles and so there are two main papers that I found that I really liked. I'll link them below. One was by someone, I think he's teaching at a university in Egypt and he was talking about um, having more discussion in the class. And I really like that concept. So I really wanted to add more discussion in my class so that the students can really get a chance to work through the concepts in the class um, to really get a feel for what's happening. And then the second paper I read was um, there was a group, there's like a research group that came together to talk about linear algebra and how to teach it. And they had these four main recommendations and objectives for their students that I want to adopt for my class, particularly for the discussion parts of my class. So what I've decided, so this is just preliminary, I've done zero work on this, but what I've decided to do is I'm teaching Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
two sections. Um, so what I'm going to do on Monday is do my normal punctuated lecture. So 50 minute lecture. Um, I don't really have that much time to do as much group work as I did last time. So I'll do a punctuated lecture on Monday. On Wednesday, maybe I'll do a brief intro, but Wednesday is going to be discussion day. So I'll pick one or two topics that students struggle with conceptually. And I'm going to have them actually talk about it because I want to give these little um, group quizzes for the students to write down definitions in their own words. Because what generally happens is um, there's a lot of vocabulary in this class. And when I mention something, students will have to flip through their notes to read the actual definition. And they need to know in their minds what something means right away because we're using like five vocabulary words in one sentence in that class. So I want to get groups to construct their own definitions in their own words for the different concepts. Also practice some problems together and each group present. So that's what I want to do on Wednesday. Friday, there will always be a quiz at the beginning and then a bit of lecture. And I'm thinking that's the structure that I want. And then as for more practice, I think I want to do an online learning system. I think I'm going to do my math lab. By, it's a Pearson product um, and have them do um, practice problems there. I also love the video series by, uh, I think it's called like One Brown, Three Green, One Blue. It's, it's either green, brown, in blue. But anyway, they have this series on um, linear algebra with like a lot of like visualization and I am terrible at drawing, especially in 3D. So I really want to add those videos as supplemental materials and I actually assign the students to watch those videos. So that's my preliminary thoughts. I'll come back and share um, what I actually decided to do and how I set things up. But hopefully this helped. If you're planning out a course, I like to reflect, think about what went well, what went wrong, think about how to change them and also research to see what other people are doing and I'll share all the things that I talked about below this video. Let me know what classes you're teaching and how you plan on structuring your class. I may want some more ideas and also I think you'll be helpful for other people in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here consider subscribing to the Academic Society. Have a wonderful day. Bye!